Hello and welcome to Good Storms Games. Today we're playing From the Depths and this is a tutorial about CUS crams because it's a goofy idea and, uh, you know, and nobody really cares. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I hope Borderwise gets to see this because this is a bit goofy. I'm just going to build, uh, quick, the uh, CUS, uh, uh, with random stuff. So let's just make a, a one axis turret. And then I'm going to go to my prefab mode and I'm going to load, uh, Where's my goofy? Sure, let's do that. Select Omnicram. That's just just for testing wise. So this is a like four point connection. Everything cram. It's got some elevation. It's got some suppression. Why not? And we're, we're gonna call this a sea whiz. Um, let's just get some sea whiz here. That would be in defenses. Now, weird thing about close in weapon systems is uh, if you go to defenses. See this munition warner? Uh, as far as I know, um, yeah. So, yeah, the, this doesn't make any sense. Significant reduce when vehicle is turning above twenty degrees from one. Contact is usually tracked for one second if if no further detection is made. Yeah, so, yeah, these things, they shouldn't, they can track things, but what I've noticed is that um, for s certain things, like crams and whatnot, um, initial mourners aren't really necessarily needed, especially for Sea Whiz. I don't think they really respond to Sea Whiz that well, at least from the several times I've tested this kind of stuff. Oh, let me, let me build on the ship here. I'm just going to give this some random ammunition mourners um, and an AI just just a regular AI now you know what? let's let's give this a boom there AI the ultimate of AIs because we're just testing this out uh, yeah why cram C whiz why I don't know it's goofy let's put let's put let's let's see let's where it's that cram cram we we definitely need uh, a laser targeter on this bad boy and we're gonna need a fuse box just for fun tees and we're gonna do time from lunch um, and we're gonna do an offset timer uh, which what does it say because that off time system matter be below up before or after your target offset times can also be set in the parameters panel I believe Negative means before. Uh, positive means after, I think. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, I'll give it a little bit before. This has a everything. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Well, maybe we'll copy this, this whole thing and just put like 50 of them on around on this test barge. But before that, let's let's throw a couple of munition warners on. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more than just munition warners. Um, yeah, that's good for now. Uh, let's do, you know, let's just do everything. So AI. Let's do some connectors. Does this thing have a blah 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 connector? Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Let's just throw a couple uh, detections. We're just going to do the 90s. The 90s are nice uh, for detecting ammunition. So 360s are good for just like regular targeting everything. Uh, give me a moment here. Sorry, I just had to cough. Ate too much chocolate and now I've got a weird throat. So here we go. So we've got 90s. They can uh, enables targeting uh, of missiles and shells with a range factor of 100%. Don't know, really know what that means. If it's the entire range of the radar, I don't know what the range of the radar is. Who knows? It's confusing. Things aren't necessarily clear. Anyways, let's get an infrared camera on the other side because that'll be help with missiles. Um, and we'll just throw a couple of cameras down. Yeah, there we go. 
Uh, cameras. Ooh, we got some gimbals. Gibbled cameras. Sure. Infrared ca camera. You could probably use a bunch of those. Uh, some more AI stuff. It's kind of unrealistic for every ship, but eh. It's a technical component. So let's grab that. And we're also going to put a laser, laser tracker. Wireless doodads. Yeah, so this is my version of tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. This is just goofiness. It's a test. A tutorial? A test? Eh, who knows. Hopefully you'll find something interesting out about things by this. All right. Do we have enough to Yeah, we've got 17 total processing power. Yeah, we're, we're good. Sweet. All right. Uh, so first we need to make ourselves invincible because I don't know about you guys, but I think this thing would explode if it got hit by some sort of cram or something. Um, and then we're going to spawn in uh, deep water guard. We want the godly craft, so we're going to grab a crossbones because it has big cram, cram babies. There we go. Now, is it going to shoot? And are we going to be able to detect things? Also, I think I might need to make this float some more. Uh, blocks. Sure. I don't know where the middle is of this. That was a pretty good guess. Let's get this up out of the water a little bit. There we go. Give it some more flotation. Okay. Let's see if it'll shoot down some of these. Come on, Cram. You can do it. Mm, it might need more motors. Uh, Cram. Mm, yep. Motor driven barrels, like 16 of them. There we go. Now, please fire. Please, for the love of all that is good, fire at the cram. Yeah, we, oh, we shot one. Sweet. I am actually surprised that kind of worked. Shoot it, shoot it. Oh, I forgot these things have a really bad reload time. Uh. Oh, look! We destroyed one! This surprisingly works more effectively than I thought it was going to. <laughs> ah, what do you know? Anti cram, the best anti cram, it's another cram. Uh, the only problem is, is that, man, crams have a terrible fire rate. Like, Reload speed is 16.54 seconds. The reason why you don't use crams for sea whiz usually is because, well, to make a good sea whiz, it needs to be pretty big. It just deleted that cram shell. Apparently, you don't need a lot to delete cram shells. Um, let me maybe let me build a couple more. Let's just see sub objects. Um. Uh, I forgot where some of the objects are. That's how good my memory is. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you you go, girl. Defenses closing. You know. Hey, how about we just boom? Let's go and cram. But this is sea whiz. Close in weapon system. Close in weapon system cram. Save. There we go. Perfect. Now, we'll go to sub object. No. Prefab. No. Sub objects mode. We grab the C whiz, cr whiz cram and we just uh, place like just several of these on here. Oh, ouch. That, well. We only need like 50 of these, right? 
I can't see anything, guys. Well, I'm shooting crams, I think. Yep, there goes the... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yep, del it deletes crams. Who would have thunk? So, you know, if you need to get rid of other crams, um, just shoot them with crams. Perfect tutorial, right? Um, and, you know, just... Oh, yeah, well. I mean, they don't have very good reload rates, so. Oh, I need to turn that off. There we go. Um, come on, shoot it. Shoot them. There we go. Deleted one. Uh, we did just do 4K damage for some reason. Maybe to ourselves. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah. Uh, it'd help if it didn't take 16 seconds for these things to reload, but yeah. Proof of concept here. We deleted a shell. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of them. So. Um. Yeah. Well, if we turn off all of these weapons. Yeah. I just want to see how much health these things would have. Okay. Deleted another cram. That's cool. That's cool. Uh. You know, I see the weird thing is with the seaways is like you kind of want independent targeting systems for them, so you kind of want to build an AI on the seaways turret, um, and then control it with the seaways. And the best way to do that is not to have a channel, but like have it con the like the this this bad boy, the controller, not an all in one, just a normal controller, with a. Uh, I'll just show it because I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, let's build and we go like this. So we go into AI or defense. Yeah, AI. Uh, fail safe. Yeah, if you put a fail safe on it, that's good. But you really want the targeting system on it so that they're independent AI targeting systems so that they can individually target different uh, shells, hopefully. Um, because let's see, if we go over here. You're gonna need a lot of these. It'd be very expensive, but aim point selection. Uh oh yeah. Target random blocks. Target closer, hot blocks. Uh yeah, I don't know. To be honest, there's a lot I don't know about from the depths. But you can use crams as sea whiz against other crams. I'm not sure about faster things. Let's, you know, let's, 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 let's grab a different, let's delete, destroy enemy vehicles. Let's, let's grab a different vehicle. What's a vehicle that has a lot of APS or uh, advanced guns? <sighs> la la la. Um, is it the scuttle gun? For some reason I think it's the skull gun, but it's probably not. Let me just fly over here to look at it. Uh no, that definitely looks like more uh more cram. That's more cram. Nope. Okay, delete vehicles. There we go. Uh let's see. Yeah, so this is kind of weird. You can make crams that shoot other crams. And surprisingly accurate, because I guess it only shoots things very close range. You want a really good reload speed, which with crams is very difficult to do, so you want to keep the gauge down. Um, definitely fuses. And using explosive slash fragmentation rounds is the best bet to get rid of uh, shells, because crams have notoriously bad accuracy. Um, the accuracy on this thing is 0.32%. Or degrees, which is not bad. That's under one percent over a huge distance. One percent, one degree is is huge. Um, but you know, only like a couple hundred meters out, which is normally where see stuff comes into play. That is not big deal. Thing is, is that you can't really program these to target like say crams specifically. So these things will shoot at missiles and 
APS potentially if it's traveling slow enough all sorts of stuff so really you're, you're not gonna be able to rely, rely on these a hundred percent because you're gonna need other closing weapon systems to get rid of other materials but you can use a cram to get rid of large groups of stuff because you can get you know large radiuses of explosions um, and high damage so I can get rid of the bulk of large things like say you could probably use this on large missiles see with some large missiles to death even probably uh, torpedoes you could probably use them against torpedoes and the like uh, these have really bad reload so I wouldn't use this specific turret you'd probably want to you know get it down to the smallest amount but then you know the turret becomes huge that's the problem with crams is the bigger you make it the more like the the lower the reload speed you want on a cram cannon uh, the more expensive it gets <laughs> is really how it gets uh, you can get away with uh, small uh, advanced cannons so if I go to advanced cannons Actually, yeah, let's go to yeah, advanced cannons. I think there should be a C Wiz turret somewhere. Right? Or maybe just defenses. Um Yeah, okay, so this is a simple C Wiz turret. It's not like it's gonna be very expensive. Um Yeah, this is almost a thousand K or whatever. Um But yeah, like these close in weapon systems yeah, that's 17, that's 13. So yeah, you got one of these guys. And let's say, let's give it a flak shell. Because it'll get, you know, has the best chance of hitting. Yeah, it's already got all the flak shells. Uh, and yeah, spawn in another... another uh, the travel lines as well as the cannon capable of long range harassment. Sure, let's do a Vanguard. Why not? I don't know what it does. Uh, and a crossbones. Oh, does this not have a Tarkany thing? Uh, defense? I guess I have to put in the clothes in. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so this thing could, has a 652 round per minute. Um,. Yeah, as you can tell, the this these things don't do as much damage, but you know they're more accurate. Actually, they're a lot more effective than the cramps. I I, I lied. Okay, maybe not so much. Depends on how big the shell is. I wish you could target different shells with these, but. Me. Yeah. I just shot myself a bunch. Thank goodness I'm godly, otherwise I would have exploded. Yeah, that you know, that shell got passed. Some of these shells are getting passed. Well, a bunch of them are. So you know, cramps could be effective. FSC whiz. You might want to do some synchronization so that they shoot differently. I don't know how loud this is for you guys. Let's go to the options here. Uh, sound effects. Yeah, that got turned down. Hopefully enough for you guys to hear me. Now this has been my weird, not really haphazard tutorial about serious cram. It's a dumb idea. It kind of works. You're probably going to want to mess around with syn synchronization for them uh, so that you can have, you know, more than one cannon shot per second. Because, like, even the, like, cramp cannons that shoot, like, around every three seconds are, they get pretty big, right? Like, you're not getting this size for a, a cr cram sea whiz. Um you're definitely having like a behemoth of a gun to get three 
you know, a shot every three seconds, which isn't particularly effective against small ammunitions and quantity of ammunitions per se, because you'd need a lot of them. Uh, and it probably wouldn't even be cost effective. But if you have a bunch of these, you know. Oh uh, crap, I died. Well, look at me, I spawned in. <laughs> I don't know if there's a you turn in invincible mode uh, in designer. It, I wish they would make you invincible in designer mode. It'd be very helpful. Anyways, we're back here. Um, if I go to build here, let's go to sub objects. So this was 2000 materials, this cram cannon, and it could take out other crams. Because cramps notoriously don't have a lot of health, right? And so you just need to be able to do enough damage to take them out. Well, I mean, cramps have a lot of health, I should say. But compared to how much damage they do, in proportion to how much damage they do and how fast they travel, they don't they don't really have a lot of health for that. So it, you know, a cram cannon, a small cram cannon can take out a l much larger cram shell that does a lot more damage um, unless it's kinetic. Cuz kinetic adds health to cuz how cram cannons works, yeah, kinetic adds health. I don't know if you guys can hear me over these things shooting. I can't hear myself over these things shooting, so <laughs> we'll find out. Anyways, this is kind of funny. Yeah, see, the cram cans just delete some some shells. This isn't that fun. It's that's super fun. Yeah, and this, you know, I'm gonna get rid of this thing because it's not really doing much here. I just. Boop. There we go. I got rid of it. Yeah, go cram cans, go. There we go, deleted one. Didn't take much, see? Like, these are very small. They don't have a good reload, though, so. You know, should definitely uh, improve the reload of one of these. I might do that. I forget how to pause the video, though, so. I'm just going to end it here. You know, if you guys want to see more goofy Seawiz videos and stuff, like, hit, share it, subscribe, I don't know, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> I just hope, you know, Boy White gets to see this, because this is just goofy. This is, this is the kind of things he likes. He makes making weird, goofy cram cannon creations, and Seawiz cram is, is just hilarious. No, that one survived. No, that one's dead. One out of four shots that may or may not have hit. Uh, I think that's totally viable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we change? Uh, ignore outside of. Oh. Weight has a red circle while the projectile with lowest weight has a green circle. The projectiles have colors in between that represent their relative weight. Uh, I don't know about target acceleration. Meh. Yeah, I have no idea. There's probably ways to get around them all targeting the same shell. Uh, I'm learning. You know, I'm going to learn while we're doing this. I haven't stopped the video yet. I said I was going to go, but I'm not going to go. Whatever. <laughs> uh, rule set. Ignore side. Wait inside. 
Oh, so you can say set maximums and minimums. So you can do the largest weight. Uh, the weights at range minimum and maximum are used to create a linear function, which gives the weight for an input value. Use mouse wheel. Um, I'm going to add another rule. Outside, weight inside. Oh, okay. Oh, I died again. I was busy designing stuff. <laughs> Crossbones. Or whatever this little, the vanguard or whatever I was using. Got teleport again. The struggles. I should make a, a bomb-proof box for myself. Okay. I, I, I need to edit. Add a rule... So yeah, there's a whole bunch of things. Offset aim degrees, elevation, shoots, f shots fired, number of shots fired at the projectile from any CWIS, uh, number of CWIS aiming. Oh, there you go. You can use that. Range one. So if you want to have a bunch of CWIS cannons you can just have a bunch of them aiming at different like you can have a bunch of them so that they just fire at different different stuff cool yeah so it's possible completely possible to use cram cannons as sea whiz you just have a whole bunch of them uh and you know get them to have a really low reload just have some frag and explosive in there and uh you're pretty much guaranteed to hit them at least other crams. What'd you guys shoot? Is the Vanguard over there? The Vanguard sure is over there. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys shot yourselves or the or the or the thing. Okay, let me just delete all those. Anyways, so yeah, so you can do this. You can, they're completely viable against cram because. You need a notoriously large SeaWiz system in order to destroy cram cannon shots. So the best defense against cram cannons is more cram cannons. That's pretty funny. I, I think I think we I think we learned a lot today. We learned a lot. The best defense against cram is more cram. Yeah, except for when, you know, you, you don't design the cram AA very well or targeting priority very well and you just die. Anyways, have fun. This is good source of gaming. This is the goofiest, weirdest, silliest, fun video I've done in a while. Just in one shot because I don't got a lot of time and it's busy and I hope you guys enjoyed. So see you guys around. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm dead and it's bubbling. Yay. <laughs>